Okay guys, welcome back. This is Quadrants Episode 2 with Night Rage here. Um, okay, so here we are. First thing I want to do is resolve this ramp. So, let's get rid of these few towers. At first, making a map is pretty overwhelming, but I mean, you start to learn where everything is and how to place it and be challenging, but I oh, know we can't use this. We need a gradual slope. And controlling your camera to be effective is kind of hard. Like, okay, yes, we want it there. And this, because you could be like looking for this. Like, oh, where's the one that goes like from the ground? Because the, the one that connects to the ground looks different. So I want the one that goes to the ground. But until you actually line it up and put it there. That's when it looks like that. So you'll never know. And then there's another one where um let's see, let's find it. Two, three, two. Uh this is a archway to put in there. And this looks like an archway, but this archway, this piece is only a road for another archway. And it has to have road on both sides. That's the only way that works. So let's finish out our little bracket mustache dude. Um and went there. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. You never know until you can actually there. get a good angle. See, I'm not even. It looked sort of close, but it wasn't even close. There we are. Okay. So now I got a little mustru, uh, mustache ramp. It wasn't intentional <laughs> that it would match that exactly, but okay. So, not that there's any reason I want to go from this quadrant to this quadrant, but let's make it on easy on people that do. So, I haven't used roads yet this map, so let's go ahead and use some roads. What do these do? Oh, these are like depth roads. This is just normal road you can draw with. I kind of want to turn it into it's yeah, it sort of connects. So Gonna match that. Okay. Now we're gonna want to add the arch. So to do that, we'd have to delete this first. And now we can add this, and then use the scroll wheel to. Increase elevation, but do we want it all the way at the top? Oh no, I didn't make that wall max height. Oh no, that's just the way the arch is. Just kidding. But mm, I know we can make it an arch without. Normally, I'd make an arch and then put a wall on top to close it up. But I'm thinking maybe we can do an arch, and then that'll be a space that you can ramp over. So, when you're editing like this, that doesn't seem that tall, but then when you get in game, you're like, wow, that's monstrous. So now we've got our little ramp there. And since I have the elevation right currently, I didn't need to erase it. Look at that. See? Learning new stuff. So, like that piece is just a road. All right, Let's see how it feels. Yep, it feels like a road with an arch. See how tall that is? If I had made the arch all the way up there, it would look ridiculous. It's already mammoth the way it is. 
So, now, let's work on that ramp I theorized. So, in this game, you gotta watch out for this, there's two kinds of ramps. Ramps on blocks, ramps on grass. Um, for most of this map, I've been doing ramps on grass wherever I can help it, unless it's an elevated ramp. Because I want to keep the grass feel. It's not like a blocky... <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying. So, these mostly give you speed. These give you a little bit of a jump, like a push forward jump. And these like go straight up in an arc for really high, high, high jumps. So, let's see how this feels. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I could show you something. Okay, so that sort of works. And you saw we kind of hit the lip there. This tool is supposed to show you the path that you'll take. The red line, I believe, the red line is the path that you take without any player uh, inter. What's it called? Input. <laughs> wow. Such a hard word, huh? And then the green line is, I think, how far you can get sprinting or some such. That is cool. Look at that. They didn't have to do that. The, the water reflection, and you can see the lines. It's crazy. Um, yeah. So we decided that that's not far enough. So, <clears throat> but see, I want to kind of. See, I'm trying to figure out now, if I had this ramp right here close, what would incentivize anyone to walk on that path? What is the incentive to walking on that path? Hmm. What is the incentive? Maybe we can wall this off and the ramp puts you over the wall so you can't get that nice jump to where you want to be? Maybe. I kind of like that idea. So, first of all, let's get a ramp that'll actually freaking work. It's in the spawn yeller. Nope, still bounced. I guess that was the same place I put it last time. Do, do, do. There we go. I don't even need to wall that off. This is already a big enough disadvantage. It puts you out here a way away from that nice little ramp. So you either have to choose to go underground. So this would be like the underground option, I guess. We'll make, we'll make some paths to make it um, flow right into the path. I don't know what the far corners. See, I just, I'm such a scatterbrain. I'm supposed to be working on one thing and then I just get totally off doing stuff and then I'll randomly decide I want to put something in the middle here because I think there's too much open space. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get this ramp before I lose it. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't. Uh. Copy. Wait, did that do it? This game knows what I want before I even know it. I just erase the top part. Whee! Okay. I wish I knew more about the mechanics of the game. Like, I wish I knew if these rows actually gave you speed bonuses. I think the rails do. Let's see, there's that word, I think. So I don't actually do. So anyway, we know you want... We know we want... Walking path to go right here. But I want to give them some sort of... Giving them speed rails be too much of an advantage? 
I think so, because that goes, that's the fastest way to the pole, that ramp, bam, 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 straight over. It's pretty fast. You know what, they don't need an advantage. I could change it later. Do, do, do. Wait, what? There we go. Nice curvy path. Try to see. Yep, that looks pretty symmetrical. Okay. So the dirt path is preferred. Yes. It's kind of like a tricky puzzle. Okay. So. I really need to figure out what to do with spawns. Man. So for this exercise, collapse, please. Please. <sighs> for this exercise, we are going to be measuring exactly Oh. Exactly how much room we have. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, what? It's trying to make them like team spawns. Oh, the blue team. Whatever. I'll see. Four. Six. Okay. Oh yeah, that was weird. Whatever. Okay, so one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So it's basically a twenty-three by twenty-three. So. If I can do 16 on each wall, leaves a little bit of space. Not much, though. Um, gonna have to use height. Gonna have to get smart here. I wonder if I can use these walls. It spawns on blocks on the walls. Oh, man. Alright, um... This is going to be the hardest part. These spawns are really challenging. Um, designing battle areas is fun, but designing spawn areas that don't suck as hard. Let's give her all this crap. Okay, so what if, whoops, what if I could also make some low priority spawns on these walls? Or high priority, who knows? See, I don't. Uh, what does P mean? What does R mean? I don't know what this crap is. Like, what is the red arrow? What is the green arrow? I think I have an idea. One of them you can't shoot in. Connect. No, there's a gap. Okay, these I understand that. Some spawns you can shoot and some you can't. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to use height. And I'm gonna opt for these spawns that you cannot from which is these I suppose 
And what would be the point? Oh, and you have to have a little let out gate. Hmm. Interesting. So, get rid of that crap. Spawns one spawns. I got rid of this wall. Does it look stupid? Is there space? No, it's still a wall. Okay. And you can skip over there. Oh, you can't even jump from these. Okay. So, looks like my wall's getting replaced with spawn walls. At least partially. Now what would be awesome is if I could get ramps from these. Uh is it gonna work? I think I can remove the lip, huh? We'll stop them from dropping. So we'll have spawns below there. First of all, first of all, this has to go. So this is probably the hardest thing to learn. This one, I was so lost. That. That is how you unlock edges on spawns and sniper stuff. Oh! <gasps> And there are blocks that you can put where they can't shoot from. Ah. Can't even run on. I like the idea of peaceful spawning. Okay, so that would mean I could just frickin' I could make spawns right next to each other. Cause nobody could shoot each other. Right? Right, audience? Yes. Howdy, neighbor. Nice not shooting you today. Nice not shooting you today as well, neighbor. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, that's gonna be some response. Now let's see how ramps play into this. Um... But the lip doesn't go, does it? So I gotta remove the lips first. Gosh. So do we want to do the old concrete block lip remover? Because as soon as they get there, then they can shoot. Oh, no, no. We're gonna have to do the old grass block. Make them drop, they'll have to hit the ground before they can shoot. they leave these, then they can shoot each other. Which kind of sucks, but... <sighs> it's okay, we can still space. I don't like this. I don't like this little cat.
Oh no. That is laughably bad. Well. Maybe we should bring the whole wall down to that level. Anyway. Maybe there's some sort of barrier I could put between them. What paths? Do we have an area to... No, nope, you gotta jump for it. Nope. <laughs> <gasps> what about those slidey blocks? I've never used those before. Slidey wood blocks, here I come. Okay. Great. Okay, so let's do <clears throat> Is it all straight? What is the difference? Uh okay. See how that works. Okay, so... Mm, Rap sliding is fun and hard. So... If they fall... Before they get the ramp... Which would be silly... Then their punishment is they have to walk further. But now how am I going to make these ramps point to somewhere meaningful? when they want to get over here. How close together can I put these? Hmm. But there's no good way to curve these. Is there? I think you're pretty much stuck going straight. What's this? <gasps> Are these thicker? Wait a minute. What does that look like? Hmm. The ideas are just rumbling around in my brain. What if... Yeah. Uh-huh. That's my dog. Oh, ridiculous. Okay, let's see. It's funny how this wall has absolutely nothing to do with it. But 
It made me think of something completely different. Hey you, be quiet. I'm trying to make a video. Thanks. Huh? Well, I can't aim, but you get the idea. But how do we connect them nicely? The spawn is going to be the biggest detractor on this entire map. Okay, so it's looking like we're going to need to put some more walls up. Or the little edge walls. Just so I can get this effect. <laughs> what I was trying to do was to not make them shoot at each other right at the beginning, but that's what it's turning into pretty quickly. Uh... Or they could all have their own separate ramps! Oh, I'm a genius! Is there room for that? Oh man! Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, all right. So let's set up a couple more of these. Copy and paste tool. Come to me. Copy. I forgot about the wall. And then clear selection, and we just want OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> Oh man. Okay, so let's get back to ramp building. What are we on these? Oh, you. Get one rep finish, see where it goes. These are gonna be oh man. It's not gonna work. Unless I can make a branch around or something. <laughs> Come on. What the heck? This one all the way over at the wall already goes pretty much to the edge. If we were to do ramps all the way down, which we don't need to, really. <sighs> Whatever. How thrilling is that, huh? Idea, I just wish I had more room. <coughs> so, where are all those guys gonna go? Unless we just shrunk it down a little bit, made it shorter. Uh. We made them all shorter. Would that help? What if we didn't need them all to touch the ground, which we certainly don't? Would that help? Oops, I don't know what I just erased, but. What if we had them all going exactly four? Do we have enough room? How about three? This is only six spawns. Ugh. How long have I been recording? That's not right. So we have enough room for what? Two? Two on each? Two on each? So we just stuck to two on each. It 
look cool. Could they shoot each other? No. Whatever, I'll leave this off there. Okay, what does it feel like spawning here? Yep. So, I think I'm going to get rid of these. Hmm, five. Oh my gosh! Five! Down to five spawns. Ugh, that's gross. What the hell am I doing? This is so ugly. Would an edge help that? God, that's gross. Still doesn't even close it off. What the hell? What the hell? Hmm. What am I supposed to do with this? Ah, I'll give this edge look. Yeah. Okay, so now... How does spawning here feel? Whoops! That's not a spawn. That's fine. And the far one. I'll put a road here. Put some rails. Pump it out. <laughs> but this is only five. Five spawns. We're gonna have to <clears throat> Okay. I think now would be a good stopping point because I've been rambling for quite a while now. So yeah. Thanks for watching and we will continue to try to work on the spawn problem later in episode three. Thanks.